Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club, with your midday market update for Tuesday, the 10th of July. Let's score one for Spain. However, the short-term Spanish victory did not get Spain or Europe off the hook by a long shot. There's still much to be done, and somewhere along the line, someone is going to take a haircut and have to bite the bullet. Not sure when that's going to happen, or it will happen for sure. China also appears to be slowing down dramatically, and that, of course, is going to further exacerbate the contagion effect, not just for China, but for the entire world economy. This week could mark the most important week for the stock market. We're not convinced that the German courts or the German public will okay the current new bailout fund. So let's stay tuned. It's going to be an interesting week. Hey, let's go right to the charts, but before we do that, let's just have a little commercial message here, and that is from PMI, and that is our one-on-one -on -one Market Club coaching. So let's get in the center of the screen so we can see it. So if you're not a, if you haven't called us yet, this could be the important thing for you to do for yourself and for your trading and for your family. It's one-on-one -on -one Market Club coaching. And what do we mean by that, one-on-one? -on -one? That's right, you have a personal coach that can help you trade the Market Club way. Give us a call, 877-219-1482. It's a free call and it's a free consultation. Hey, you'll find out if Market Club one-on-one -on -one Market Club coaching is right for you. So call today. So let's go right back to our the markets and see what's going on here. And this is my home page. I'm going to go right to the portfolio manager. There's a lot to go through today. So here we are starting with the S&P 500. Now, this is what I noticed with the S&P 500. I'm going to go this into three months but it's still 55, meaning it's a trading range. But the key thing that I'm looking at right now in the S&P 500 is the manner in which this market was turned back today. So if you look at today's action, which is right here, you can see that we moved up to the 1360 level, which is right here, and really reversed hard. Now the key to me today is going to be the 1,346 level. If we go below that level and close down there, then I think we're going to see a lot more downside pressure in this market. So let's see how that plays out. And uh, let's just clear the screen and go down. But this is not a good sign. The other thing I want to share with you, and I'll just clear the screen and let me go to put a close only chart on. And there's the close only chart. And this is the key thing I'm looking at too. So I'm going to put a trend line in here. So it's right here. Just click here and it puts the little yellow box to the far left hand corner. You know it's live then. So I'm going to drive, draw a line from this area all the way up to here. So here's the 1340 area. If we see the market close below 1340, it's going to break this sharp uptrend line since about June 4th. And I think it'll put this market really on the defensive. I think a lot of people are still not sure which way this market's going to go. And certainly, with the monthly trade triangle in negative mode, the trend, the longer term trend, still favors being short this market. So let's go to our next market. And the next market we're looking at is going to be crude oil. Now, crude oil is in a very similar picture. And I'm going to put our, there it is. And you can see there was no upside follow through yesterday, today, from yesterday's upside. And certainly the 84 level is going to be very paramount in keeping this market. Higher. Now, if we go below and close below 84, then I think we'll have a shot going down back to the 80 level and possibly even to 78 as this market tries to find some equilibrium and base with what's going on in the world today. So let's go back to our next market. That's Dow Jones Industrials. You can see the action there is still not that great. Uh, we sort of we're stopping here at the midpoint of the Donchian Trade Channel. If you're not familiar with the Donchian Trade Channel, what that is, it's a channel that mirrors around. It's, this is a center point, like a moving average. And you can set that up very easily in the on chart study button right here. So that's definitely something you may want to, to look at. And uh, here we are. If we close, I think below, let me just clear the screen off again. And the level I'm looking at, I think this close here was the, hold on just one second. The close we saw right here, this is the closed at 12736, we're 12747, so 36 is going to be a definitely a big level uh, for this market, but it looks to me it's just not acting like it's super strong on the upside. And if there's any surprise on the German vote, 
which is expected I think, on July 20th, this market could just really come under pressure because the euro is under pressure. And generally speaking, our monthly and our daily now are, are negative, but certainly the monthly is the bigger one to look at. So let's go to our next market. And the next market we're looking at is going to be the Forex. That's the US, euro against the dollar. And you can see this is not a good, good area for this to be. If we close down here, this will be a new two-year low. As you know, we've been very negative on this market since 139.69. It's 122. So that's 17 big handles. That's a huge amount of profits in this position for a long-term trader. Short-term traders should also be short from 124, currently trading 122.53. Nice profits there also. But this market does not look that good. It looks like it's going to go down to the 120 to 117 level. So we've targeting the 120 level and the 117 level as our target zones. That's our target zones. On the downside. So let's see how that plays out. That doesn't look like very good typing, but we'll we'll figure that out later. But nonetheless, it looks as though that's where the market wants to head. So let's just clear the screen and go to our next market. And that's going to be the NASDAQ. Now NASDAQ took NASDAQ's under a lot of pressure because it acted, remember last week we had a strong move up in Apple. Well Apple's on the defensive today. I think Apple was down a couple of dollars earlier, but it may be uh, well it's it's unchanged about up seventy five, but it had a pretty broad range and I think that's affecting this NASDAQ index a lot. So you also it looks as though you've just gone below this PSAR. That's a parabolic stop and reverse which is indicating that this market could go lower. In fact, it, it has gone below that level. So that's the first real sign of weakness. So I think we could, could easily come down to the uh, 2850 area and possibly even down to the 2750 area. So let's see how that plays out. But the one thing I want to look at, look at a close only chart, which is really easy to do. And we put our trend line in like we did earlier. And we'll go from the lows right around the, right around the, the June 4th. Remember, you've got to have this little yellow box here. And we'll just draw that trend line. So it's perfect trend line. So I would say the 2900 level is going to be super, super important. If we break below that, then we're going to close below this trend line that's been in place over a month now. And I think that's another indication that we're seeing this market get a little bit sloppy on the downside. So let's see how that plays out today. I would not be surprised to see that happen even today. I think the market, if there's no follow through later on today, I think we can see some more pressure. So let's go to our next market and the next market is going to I'm also going to show you a stock today that give a major monthly trade triangle signal on the short side I think you'd be surprised when you see that stock so here we are we're looking at silver silver is not acting well if you know, if you've been following our reports you know we've been short from 29.98 it's 27 now and so that's almost three cents profit in this position which is nice uh, Three dollars, I should say, but nonetheless, this action today is not positive. There's no follow through. It's returned back dramatically from the 2750 area. I think we're going to go back down and test the 2650 area, and I think we can go lower than that. We're looking for twenty dollars an ounce on silver, which I know the bulls on gold and silver have been bitterly disappointed so far this year, as it's really not performed well at all. So let's go to our next market. And that's going to be gold. And gold, you can see, we got turned down dramatic, turned back, I should say, from the $1,600 level. Boom, we're down to 1583. Now, the lowest close we've had recently in this market, it has been the 1580 level. I would say a close under 1580 would not augur well for this market for the rest of the week. So let's see how that plays out. All of our trade trials are negative, minus 100. It's a strong trend to the downside. I would say this market's going to have another push down, testing this 1560 to 1550 area where it should find some support. So let's go back to our next market. And the next market we're looking at is going to be copper. Copper is terrible action in copper today. We're plus minus 55 trading range. But I have to say this action, we moved higher, came back down, went lower. If we close at this level today, 3.3990, is a new low close on this move down, and I think we're heading for the 330 level. Very negative action, in my opinion. Look at how we topped out right around the top of the Donchian trade channel, the top area of the Donchian trade channel. We come to the midpoint, 
but below the PSAR, I think we're gonna see this market get down towards the lows here. Also, you've got all the trade triangles except the one trade triangle, the weekly, which should kick in pretty soon. So let's see how that plays out. Going to our next market, the Reuters Jeffrey CRB index. Now remember, this market was up very strongly yesterday, and we were a little bit hesitant to get excited about it simply because of this level here and the confirming day the next day. So I think that's a key level. And I think if we just mop around here and possibly go down lower, I think that's going to be a real signal that this market can go even move down and retest this area. One of the big things, of course, have been in the grain markets have been really very strong. Now, with China turning down and also the demand for copper and silver and other things like that, you're seeing some stuff that's coming to this particular index. Now, it's not out of the woods totally. We do have a minus sign or red triangle at 305, um, currently trading at 290 rather. And the weekly and the daily just went negative today. So let's just see how that plays out. But I think we're going to see another pullback. So here we are. This is looking at the grains. The corn market, of course, has been very, very strong. You can see we caught the corn market from 575. It's currently trading at 721. Huge profits in this move. It looks like it's getting a little bit tired, but you don't stand in front of a train here. This is a very, very strong trend. You can see from our trade triangles that we've got everything is positive right here. And I think uh, you've got a 100 score, and I think you don't try to pick tops. You may want to take some profits, but you don't try to go short this market. It's just too dangerous. So let's clear the screen, go to our next market. Corn's definitely the star. You've all heard of the hot weather. We had a little bit of rain out there, but it really is probably not enough at the at the time being to do any good but let's see how that plays out but the other one if uh, let me just go to my indicator here other one is wheat uh, which is still you can see it's not quite as strong had a little bit of a sell sig uh, not quite a sell signal 821 is a sell signal there we got I think the low we got the 822 so that's a definitely uh, the PSAR would be the in indicator to get out, take profits on this position. Again, it's been a very profitable trade for us. So let's go to our next market. Soybeans, this is the other market. It's been very, very strong. You can see the monthly kinked in at 14.39, currently trading a dollar, <laughs> much, much higher. Uh, that is basically worth about $5,000, this move from here to here per contract. So it's been a really good move for us. But you've got a little bit of a negative divergence. We talked about this yesterday. And, of course, uh, you're seeing a little bit of a slowdown, a little bit of pressure over the 15, 1560 uh, level. That's, I mean, it's an amazing number of uh, price for beans, but that's just the, uh, that's the way it is. So let's go to our next market. And this is the one I was going to promise you. I said we're going to look at a stock that gave a major signal. Today. This is a company called... Mead Johnson Nutrition. Not sure what this, I'm sure it's something nutritional foods and things like that, but the reality is it's a major sell signal today at 77.72. It's 77.31 now. But what I want to share with you is this. If we scope this out just a little bit further, and we'll just put a line chart on, and we'll take everything off the screen just to make it very, very clean and simple. So you go to the on chart studies, we'll just the parabolic, we'll take off, we know that's negative, and we'll take off the Donchian trade channels. And just on a very simple look, you can see a couple of things happening here. And let me show you what they are. So here we are. We're going to put a trend line on. Very simple trend line. I think that's probably the best way to show the trend line because you've got some points that are touching. And you broke through there. You came back. You came back and made new highs, which was quite remarkable. But this is the area. This is the, this is the formation that I'm looking at. So you've got what we call, this is a, a pivot point that's a pivot point right there and this to me looks like a double top yeah what we can do is measure from this level here which is approximately 78 so 78 and the high there was 88 so we'll take this measurement and this measurement right here and we'll subtract the 10, if we take 78 from 88, that gives you a 10. So we'll go to, I think, somewhere around 68. That's So 68 to 70, that's, the, uh, that's a target zone. 
and I think that's where we're going to head 68 to 70 on this particular stock but remember this today 77 72 that was our first signal in this stock for quite some time and it's a liquid stock it trades good volume so you may want to take a look at that hey this is Adam Hewison coming to you live from Maine and we're certainly enjoying the weather here it's nice cool weather and I think uh, we've got a lot coming on this week and we want to share with you as much as we can but remember please give us a call at 877-219-1482 if you want to find out about our personal one-on-one -on -one market club coaching it's a free consultation remember and a free call Adam Hewison I'll see you tomorrow same time same place thanks for stopping by